ko hana mari te mori hukuia e ora tonuana i te wā i puta mai ai te rifuata mō nā tirohana a te rōpu whakamana i te tiriti mō te kreme Y262. Rua te kau mātahi tau e tāriana te wā kia puta mai tēnei rifuata. Me ki koe nei te kau mātua o nā kreme katoa. Aha kua kua naro nā kai tono i te tirohana kanohi ko a rātau mahi ka ora mō a ke tonu. I te mea kāri tuatu i te kreme o te Y262 ki te kapo i te mōhio tana me nga taona te Māori e pakari ai tō tātou tū ki roto i tēnei ao hau. Ko ruau moko tērā e nunuru ai te whenua o tautahi i roto i te kino i tā utu hia i puawai ko nga mahi a Mark Solomon hei kai ārahi mo te iwi o nai tahu i uru mai ai nga tātai whakaheke a te iwi Māori me te pākeha. Ko nai tahu tērā e hāpai ana i nga āwhina me nga tautoko a te iwi whānui, kia mahe ake ai nga taumaha nga whānau i pākinohia. Ahakoa tērā i tui tui a tonu tia te rono mau mo nga take tiriti e Mark Solomon ki waina i nga iwi o te waipau namu. He hono nga wairua, he hono nga tanata, ko ahora ni whatara ni winia ta tērā. Ko ia te prehetini tuatahi mo te pāti Māori, nā nā nō hoki i whakakotahi i te iwi o otaki ki ara mai ko te whare wānana o Raukawa, te wānana Māori tuatahi. Nā nā mahi i roto i te hāhi mihinare, i whakaritea ko ia hei ārahi i te rōpū ki te whakatikatika i nā kura noho Māori, ara te kura taitama o te aute, me te kura taitama wāhine o hukarere i te tau rua mano te kaumātahi. Nga ona pūkena kai pākihi i māro ai te haere o nga kreme mo te iwi o nga ti raukawa ki o taki. And standing by in Waitangi with Jodie Ihaka is our first judge, Parikāwhia McLean. Kia ora, Parikāwhia. What were the judges looking for? Oh, kia ora, Jodie. The judges were looking for uh, those people who have been staunch and strong advocates of the treaty, whether it's been at a local level or at a national level. How hard was it for you to decide who the eventual winner was? Well, it was very difficult. We had some outstanding um, nominees and even the finalists were, uh, were outstanding. OK, so tell us, who was the winner? Well, I'm honoured to be here today to present this award to someone who I have a great deal of respect for, someone who has been at the forefront of driving, driving leading uh, treaty aspirations for his own people, but also at a national level. The inaugural winner this year is Mark Solomon in my party. Tēnā koe, Mark. Tēnā Congratulations. Tēnā. Thank you. How do you feel about this? Um, humbled, a bit embarrassed. Um, no, it's amazing. I, um, I heard about the awards, I heard that I was a nominee, but when I looked at the list, I didn't believe I'd ever get close to it, receiving it. You have had a hell of a year with fellow Cantabrians. What does it mean for you? I think if anything with the earthquake, what it's taught all of us in Canterbury is that we are part of a community, um, and what it's brought out in the Cantabrians is that We've actually got to work together to get through the adversity. So in some ways, I think the earthquake's been a, a major positive for the whole of Canterbury. It's, uh, but it has been a hell of a year. Um, stress levels are still high because there's no certainty yet. There's no certainty when we can start the rebuild, when the insurance companies will pay out. Um, and it's, stress levels are rising. And of course, it's Waitangi Day. Yes. Treaty issues are at the top of the agenda right now, particularly for you and iwi leaders. What can you tell me about what's happening now? Um, well, I suppose the biggest issue on the table at the moment is uh, the SOEs and the potential removal of Section 9. It is my view that the iwi kato will say no, that it must be retained. In fact, I think we would advocate that it has to be strengthened. Um, it's all right for tribes like NATO. We've been through our settlement process. Um, but there are still other tribes coming along and that Section 9 protection mechanism has to be there. What do you say to people who, at this time of year, quite often complain that Māori are constantly talking about the treaty and wanting things? Um, of course we're always talking about the treaty. Um, 
as far as I'm concerned, and as confirmed by the courts, the treaty is a partnership between two peoples, and we both have an obligation to uphold that treaty and work together. Um, there are still issues around the treaty that have to be settled, and until we come to that settlement, the talk is always going to be on the table. Kia ora, congratulations on this. It is Thank always you, a privilege to interview you, Mark Solomon from Ngaitahu. Kia ora. Back to you, Scotty. Awesome, Jody, and congratulations to Mark Solomon. Now, our next category is community service, and the finalists are.